Erica Mina, former wife of Safari Samuels, has recently found herself in the headlines again as her ex-husband opens up about his past relationship with his even more famous ex, Nicki Minaj. Safare, who has transitioned from a rapper to a reality star, shared some candid reflections about his breakup with Nicki during a revealing appearance on the We in Miami podcast. His comments about Nicki have left many, including Erica, reflecting on the intricacies of their respective relationships with him. It seems that for Erica, hearing Safari publicly express his deep feelings for Nikki might have stirred up emotions, leading to a wistful desire for a time machine, perhaps to undo certain moments or even to alter the trajectory of their relationship. On the podcast, Safari was asked about the biggest challenge he has faced since his split from Nicki Minaj, and his response was both raw and eye-opening. He admitted that dealing with the fallout from their breakup had been one of the most difficult periods of his life. He said, I was with Nikki, we broke up. So her fans and certain people wanted it to be like, okay, they're not together anymore. F asterisk, asterisk, asterisk him. Let him be nothing, let him disintegrate, let him disappear. The rapper's reflection on the breakup shines a light on the pressure he felt from Nicki Minaj's massive fan base, the Barb's, and how they seemed to turn on him once the relationship ended. Nikki, being one of the most influential and beloved figures in the music industry, commands a fiercely loyal and protective fan base. For Safari, navigating the post-breakup world while under the intense scrutiny of Nikki's fans proved to be an overwhelming and isolating experience. According to Safari, it wasn't just about losing a relationship, but also about feeling like he was being erased from the public's view, like his existence had lost value after their split. Safari's revelation on the podcast isn't just about the fans' reaction, but also hints at the magnitude of his feelings for Nikki and the impact their breakup had on his life. After dating for over a decade, their relationship had been a significant part of his identity. To lose Nikki was not only the end of a romantic chapter, but also the end of a partnership that had influenced his career and public image. This candid confession from Safari has sparked renewed interest in his relationships, including his tumultuous marriage to love and hip hop, co-star Erica Mina. Erica, who had her own roller coaster of a relationship with Safari, might be feeling a mix of emotions in response to his openness about his past with Nikki. Safari and Erica's relationship was highly publicized and marked by drama, breakups, and makeups, much of which played out on reality TV. Their whirlwind romance led to marriage, children, and eventually a messy divorce that left both parties airing grievances in the public eye. Now, hearing Safari reflect so openly about his enduring feelings for Nikki, even years after their breakup, could make Erica question the sincerity of the relationship she had with him. It's not hard to imagine Erica already dealing with the fallout from her failed marriage, contemplating what could have been different if certain decisions hadn't been made. Safari's comments about still being haunted by his past with Nikki could suggest that he never fully moved on from that relationship, which may have influenced his actions during his time with Erica. The idea of wanting a time machine becomes symbolic of Erica's desire to go back and change certain moments in her life, whether it be to avoid the heartbreak caused by Safari, to make different choices in their relationship, or to gain a better understanding of who Safari really was at the time. The complexities of their relationship, coupled with the emotional weight of Safari's unresolved feelings for Nikki, create a narrative that leaves many wondering if Erica and Safari were doomed from the start due to the shadow of his past. Safari's revelations also shine a light on the pressures of dating someone as famous and beloved as Nicki Minaj. For years, Safari had been largely known as Nicki's partner, standing by her side throughout her rise to superstardom. After their breakup, he found himself trying to build a life and identity apart from Nicki, which was no easy feat given how intertwined they had been, both personally and professionally. His struggles to step out of Nikki's shadow are something he has acknowledged in various interviews, but this podcast appearance reveals just how deeply the breakup affected him on a personal level. Despite his attempts to move forward, it seems that Safari has never fully escaped the specter of his relationship with Nikki, and that unresolved chapter continues to color the way he views his life and relationships today. For Erica, who was trying to build a new life with him, knowing that her husband's past still lingered so heavily in his thoughts may have created an insurmountable obstacle in their marriage. As Safari continues to share his feelings about his past with Nikki, it raises questions about how much of his heart was truly available for Erica when they were together. It also begs the question of whether Safari has ever truly been able to move on from his relationship with Nikki or if he's still holding on to the weight of that past connection. 
For fans of love and hip hop who watched Safari and Erica's relationship unfold, these new revelations add another layer of complexity to their understanding of the couple's breakup. Erica's longing for a time machine may not just be about undoing her marriage to Safari, but also about reclaiming the time and emotional energy she invested in someone who may have been unable to fully let go of his past. As Safari continues to reflect on his relationship with Nikki, it's clear that the echoes of that past continue to reverberate through his present life, influencing the relationships he's had since. In the end, Safari's admission about how deeply his breakup with Nicki Minaj affected him provides a deeper understanding of the man who struggled to find his footing in the aftermath of such a high-profile relationship. It also leaves room for speculation about how much his unresolved feelings for Nicki might have played a role in the eventual collapse of his marriage to Erica Mina. For Erica, the time machine is not just a wish for undoing the past but perhaps a desire to understand how things might have been different if Safari had truly been able to move on from his past relationship and fully invest in their future together. But in life, as in love, there are no time machines, only lessons learned and the hope for better days ahead. Safari Samuels, in his candid reflection on the We in Miami podcast, didn't hold back as he delved deeper into the challenges and struggles he faced following his highly publicized breakup with Nicki Minaj. His emotional recount of the fallout from the split paints a vivid picture of a man who found himself not only heartbroken, but isolated in an industry that can be as ruthless as it is glamorous. Safari continued to discuss the immense pressure and alienation he experienced after parting ways with Nikki, one of the biggest stars in the world, and the added strain that came from her relationship with rapper Meek Mill, which followed closely after their breakup. I had two of the biggest people in the world against me. Safari said, seemingly referring to Nicki Minaj and her then-boyfriend, fellow rapper Meek Mill. This statement underscores just how alone Safari felt during what he describes as one of the darkest times in his life. When your former partner is not only a global superstar, but also in a high-profile relationship with another influential figure, the ripple effects can be profound. Safari was not just dealing with the emotional fallout of a breakup. He was facing a world where it felt like all eyes were on him and none of them were kind. The phrase, two of the biggest people in the world, doesn't just speak to Nikki and Meek's individual fame, but to the enormous influence they both wielded at the time. For Safari, it was more than just the end of a romantic relationship. He felt like he had become the target of public disdain. That made everybody be against me, Safari explained. The breakup had placed him on the receiving end of not just personal heartbreak, but professional challenges as well. Safari found himself being shut out by an industry where relationships and alliances often determine career success. Nobody wanted to be next to me. Nobody wanted to work with me. It just made everything hard, he continued, hinting at the professional isolation he faced, which added layers to his personal pain. Safari's portrayal of that time as a dark time suggests that the weight of these combined factors took a significant toll on his mental and emotional well-being. He wasn't just grieving the loss of a long-term relationship, he was navigating a storm of public criticism and rejection from an industry that can be unforgiving when you're no longer in the good graces of the people at the top. The fallout from his breakup with Nikki seemed to cast a long shadow over his life, and for a period, it appeared as though his career might be over, but Safari wasn't ready to disappear into the background. Despite the obstacles, the isolation, and the negative attention he received from Nikki's passionate fan base, the Barbs, Safari managed to carve out his own path in the entertainment industry. He began to redefine himself, stepping out from under the shadow of his former relationship with Nikki and building his own brand through reality television. 10 years later, 10, 15 TV shows later, I'm still here, Safari proudly proclaimed, offering a reminder to everyone, including his critics, that he had persevered through adversity and found success on his own terms. Safari's resilience is a testament to his determination to survive in an industry that tried to write him off. He transformed himself from a background figure in Nikki's world to a reality TV star with a career in his own right. Shows like Love & Hip Hop have allowed him to stay in the public eye, reinventing his image and proving that he is more than just Nicki Minaj's ex. For Safari, this transformation wasn't just about maintaining a career, it was about reclaiming his identity and building something of his own. Reality TV gave him the platform he needed to step into the spotlight in a different way, showcasing his personality, talents, and ambition. It allowed him to rewrite the narrative that others had tried to impose on him after his breakup with Nikki. His success in this new arena 
is something he takes pride in, especially given the number of people who doubted him or hoped he would fade into obscurity. Some people don't like that, Safari added, referring to those who expected or perhaps even wanted him to fail. His journey from the depths of public scorn to becoming a successful figure in reality TV serves as a powerful reminder that resilience and perseverance can sometimes be the best revenge. He defied the odds, refusing to let the negativity and rejection define his career or his self-worth. The 10-year stretch between the end of his relationship with Nikki and his current standing in the entertainment world has been marked by growth, reinvention, and persistence. Safari's ability to withstand the pressure and continue thriving is especially significant when considering how often people in the entertainment industry crumble under such scrutiny. He not only survived, but found ways to adapt and succeed in an environment that can often feel cutthroat. Safari's experiences are emblematic of the challenges faced by those who are closely associated with superstars, where the end of a high-profile relationship can sometimes spell the end of their career. But Safari's story is also one of self-empowerment. In the aftermath of the breakup, he could have allowed himself to fade away, but instead he took the negativity surrounding him and turned it into fuel for his next chapter. Whether through his ventures on reality television or his ongoing projects, Safari has proven that he is capable of standing on his own two feet. The fact that some people don't like that is a testament to how much people underestimated him, but it's also a reminder of how far he has come. His relationship with Erica Mina and their tumultuous marriage and subsequent divorce only added to the complexity of his public persona. After all the highs and lows, Safari's narrative isn't just about who he's dated or the breakups he's endured. It's about his journey of self-discovery, resilience, and success in spite of everything. His candidness about the struggles he faced following his breakup with Nikki, including the professional isolation and emotional weight, offers a glimpse into the real-life impact of such high-profile relationships. In many ways, Safari's story mirrors the journey of many people who experience public scrutiny after a breakup. The idea that people expect you to fail or disappear once you are no longer tied to a more famous or successful partner is a familiar one, but Safari refused to let that be his reality. Instead, he pushed through the negativity and used his platform to reshape his narrative, proving that his worth isn't defined by who he was with, but by his own talents and tenacity. As Safari reflects on his journey, it's clear that while his past with Nicki Minaj will always be a part of his story, it doesn't define who he is today. His ability to stay relevant and build a career outside of her shadow speaks volumes about his resilience and determination. Safari's journey, filled with personal and professional challenges, is a powerful testament to the fact that success doesn't come easily. But with perseverance, it is possible to rise above the obstacles and carve out your own path. And while the ghosts of his past relationships may still linger, Safari is moving forward, focusing on his career and the life he's built after the storm. In the face of those who hope to see him fade away, Safari remains standing, reminding everyone that he is still here. And that's something some people didn't expect, but it's something he takes pride in every day. After catching wind of Safari's candid comments about his past relationship with Nicki Minaj on the We in Miami podcast, Erica Mina, star of Love and Hip Hop, Atlanta, and Safari's ex-wife, didn't hold back her feelings about the situation. Erica, who shares two children with Safari, daughter Sapphire Majesty, four, and son, legend Brian Samuels, three, voiced her embarrassment and frustration over Safari's apparent emotional investment in his former relationship, while, in her eyes, neglecting to show the same level of care for their children. Taking to Instagram, Mina expressed her disappointment in a comment that quickly garnered attention. I will forever be embarrassed I gave sis these incredible, beautiful babies, she wrote, clearly referencing the fact that she feels Safari has not been nearly as present or as passionate about his role as a father as he has been about discussing his past with Nicki Minaj. Mina's cutting words were a direct response to Safari's emotional revelations about his time with Nicki and how their breakup affected him on a personal and professional level. The fact that he could speak so openly about his former relationship, while Mina feels he remains distant and detached when it comes to their own children, struck a painful chord. Mina didn't stop there, continuing her critique of Safari by pointing out his lack of attention toward their children, both online and in real life. He don't even talk or care about his seeds this much online or in real life, she added, underscoring her frustration with what she perceives as Safari's neglect when it comes to being a present and engaged father. 
For Mina, the disconnect between Safari's public reflections on his past and his private role as a father appears to be a source of deep hurt and disappointment. The public nature of this spat highlights the continuing complexities of Safari and Mina's relationship post-divorce, a relationship that has been fraught with emotional ups and downs since the beginning. Their whirlwind romance, which began with much fanfare and affection, quickly turned into a high-profile marriage that unraveled just as fast. After tying the knot in 2019, Safari and Mina seemed poised to become one of reality TV's most talked about power couples. However, their union was anything but smooth, and less than two years into their marriage, cracks began to show with public arguments, social media spats, and accusations flying back and forth. In 2021, Mina decided to put an end to the tumultuous relationship by filing for divorce, signaling the final breakdown of what had once been a highly publicized love story. By 2022, their divorce was finalized, leaving both parties free to move forward with their lives. However, as this recent social media exchange demonstrates, the wounds from their relationship and divorce are still very much fresh. Mina's pointed comment about giving Safari these incredible, beautiful babies speaks not only to her love for their children, but also to her regret and disappointment over the man she once believed would be a devoted father and partner. For Erica Mina, this is not just about Safari's comments regarding Nicki Minaj. It's about a much deeper sense of betrayal and abandonment. The fact that Safari can still speak so openly and passionately about his feelings for Nikki years after their breakup, while Mina feels he lacks the same enthusiasm and involvement when it comes to their children, clearly cuts deep. Mina's public airing of her grievances sheds light on the emotional toll that her relationship with Safari has taken on her, particularly as she navigates co-parenting with someone she believes is not fully invested. Safari's relationship with Nicki Minaj, which spanned over a decade, was a significant chapter in his life. The two dated for years before calling it quits in 2014, and their relationship was often shrouded in mystery, with both sides keeping much of their personal life private until things came to an end. When they finally broke up, it wasn't just the end of a relationship, it was the end of a partnership that had defined much of Safari's identity in the public eye. Nikki went on to find love with Kenneth Petty, whom she married in 2019, further cementing the end of her chapter with Safari. For his part, Safari also seemed to move on, marrying Erica Mina that same year in a highly publicized wedding. Despite the fresh start both Safari and Nikki embarked on with new partners, the shadow of their past relationship seems to linger, especially for Safari. As he discussed on the podcast, the breakup was not only emotionally challenging, but also had a lasting impact on his career, with many in the industry turning their backs on him following the split. His comments about feeling isolated and rejected after the breakup suggest that he still carries the weight of that period in his life, even years later. And while it's understandable that such a long-term relationship would leave lasting emotional scars, Mina's frustration stems from the feeling that Safari hasn't fully let go of that past, perhaps at the expense of their present. In the years since his breakup with Nikki and his subsequent marriage and divorce from Erica Mina, Safari has continued to remain a fixture in the public eye, largely through his appearances on Love and Hip Hop. But while his career has endured, his personal relationships have been marked by conflict and unresolved emotions. Mina's recent outburst on social media is a reminder that even after their divorce, the issues between her and Safari have not been fully resolved. Co-parenting two young children adds another layer of complexity to their relationship, and Mina's comments suggest that she feels Safari is falling short in his responsibilities as a father. For fans of love and hip-hop, this latest chapter in the ongoing saga of Safari and Mina's relationship is just another example of the emotional drama that has defined their time together. But for Mina, it's about much more than just reality TV drama. It's about the real-life consequences of being in a relationship with someone she feels isn't pulling their weight as a parent. As Safari continues to reflect publicly on his past relationship with Nicki Minaj, it's clear that the wounds from his breakup with Mina remain just as raw. His ability to move forward in his career and continue to discuss his past, while Mina grapples with the day-to-day -day realities of co-parenting, their children seems to be at the heart of her frustration. For Mina, it's not just about the fact that Safari is still talking about Nicki. It's about the fact that, in her eyes, he's not talking enough about or showing enough care for the family they created together. In the end, the ongoing tension between Mina and Safari serves as a reminder of how complicated relationships can become when emotions, children, and public perception are all intertwined. 
For now, the social media back and forth shows no signs of slowing down, as both Mina and Safari continue to navigate the rocky terrain of their post-divorce lives. And while Safari's past with Nicki Minaj may remain a topic of conversation for years to come, it's clear that the future of his relationship with Mina and their children will be defined by how they choose to handle these ongoing conflicts moving forward.